There it is. So we just seen that apparently because Fox, when, when a news station fires you and you're looked at fine from the public, uh, they will try to make it seem like y'all came to an agreement. But come to find out, Tucker Carlson didn't find out he was getting fired only 10 minutes before the decision actually came through. But some news places will say otherwise. But first and foremost, let's get into Tucker Carlson. Listen, I can't stand this son of a bitch. He speaks on conservative views and conservative values. But some of you conservatives don't know the truth about Tucker Carlson. Well, I'm here to reveal it. Some irrelevant information. His father had a lot of money. Boom. His mama was a drug addict and would sometimes offer them drugs at a young age. But Tucker found a way to continue pushing forward with his family, owning the TV dinners. I forgot what the fuck they're called, Swanson or some shit. I don't know. The TV dinners that he would, his family got rich off of that shit. So Tucker decided to come out and wear bow ties as a young boy, and it became his stitch, continuing wearing bow ties, ties until his network suggested that he not wear them anymore because he's become a gimmick or some kind of face when his career was on the rocks. Do you believe, conservatives, that Tucker Carlson was a registered Democrat? Now, if you're a real racist, okay, you would know that the Democratic Party was the racist motherfuckers, the Confederates, the niggas that wanted slavery back in Abraham Lincoln time. And Abraham Lincoln, as a Republican, wanted to free the slaves, which we've already cleared. That really wasn't his overall agenda. As far as Abraham Lincoln, his more, most agenda was to keep the union together. And in order to keep the union together, he must try to end slavery. So with that note, Tucker Carlson, the racist that I believe that he is, is a Democrat. But at some point, he made a switch. And once he made that switch, he secretly always hated Donald Trump. Even after meeting Donald Trump, campaigning for Donald Trump, saying that the election was stolen, Tucker Carlson, behind closed doors, hated Trump. Conservatives. See, you conservatives are the main ones that are watching Tucker Carlson, making him the most viewed newscast in history because he would speak to some of your racial points, some of your speaking points. Well, I don't understand the people that burn down their community are standing up for black rights, but the people that stormed the Capitol are just American patriots. All the racist motherfuckers are watching Tucker Carlson just to find out he don't really see things the way you do. He's speaking to the things that you need and that you want. But when this man gets sued in any situation, just like Alex Jones, he's claiming that what he is speaking is not true, that it is false. When pressured under the court of law, based on actions, lawsuits, as far as defamation and all this shit, his lawyers are is claiming that Tucker Carlson is not telling the truth when he is speaking. He is just giving banter, satire, a uh, satire. I can't even speak. Sight. My baby mama gonna eat me the fuck alive, okay? Cause she's from the UK. She don't play that shit, okay? Tucker Carlson. When under pressure, is saying that he's not something that he puts out on a motherfucking world stage. And this is why a program like Tucker Carlson, which separates from CNN or MSNBC, is completely 180. 
So I just slapped the hell out of my mic. Are y'all still? Can you still hear, brother? Hey, man. Hold on. Let me make sure my shit is intact. Overlord says, will Fox News even sustain itself after this? Well, fucking yeah. What you think happened with Bill? O I'm skipping like a bastard, and I don't like it. Hold up, y'all, because this shit got the... I got, I got to delete everything in this motherfucker. What's going on here? Hold up. Let me empty out my trash can so something got to give in this motherfucker. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to that point real quick, Overlord. Will Fox News even sustain itself after this? Absolutely. Because before there was a Tucker Carlson at Fox News, there was a Bill O'Reilly. And Bill O'Reilly was a racist, crude motherfucker. So when Tucker Carlson brought his goofy bow tie wearing ass over to Fox News, they knew at that point, he knew he had to fill those shoes even though he didn't align. Satire. Okay, here this bitch go. Satire, okay? God damn. <laughs> All right? Shit. So, basically, Tucker Carlson is a goddamn fraud. And the reason why y'all love this nigga is because he speaks to your value points. But knowing this nigga outside of the TV screen while the cameras are on, he don't even agree with you. He feels like the Trump presidency was a disaster. But yet he calls a damn lawsuit against Dominion. And if you know anything about Dominion, those are the people that owns the the the, the voting polls. Okay? Tucker Carlson and all the motherfuckers on Fox News, when Joe Biden won the presidency, was saying, oh, this was a rigged election. There was the they rigged the polling machines, and that's how Donald Trump lost the war. I mean, lost the war, <laughs> lost the race. So Dominion said, oh, word. So you're going to question the integrity of our shits? Okay, bet, bitch. We're taking you to court and we suing Fox News. Fox News got to pay $78 million to Dominion, if not over $100 million. And we wonder... Why this nigga's getting fired? And this is how I'm feeling after the news struck. About, hold up, God damn it! This is how I'm feeling about Tucker Carlson get his punk ass fired. <laughs> it's so good. It's got to be a big misunderstanding. Got something. This sounds too damn good to be true. This sounds too good to be true. So let's figure out why did Tucker Carlson get his punk ass fired? The Washington Post said that he was fired because of some of Tucker's comments about management that came out in the Dominion lawsuit. I don't really buy that. The LA Times said it was because a former senior producer for Tucker's show named Abby Grossberg has filed a federal lawsuit against the network that names Tucker. There's two suits. One of them claims that while working on Carlson's show, she endured an environment that, quote, subjugates women based on vile sexist stereotypes, typecasts religious minorities, and belittles their traditions, and demonstrates little to no regard for those suffering from mental illness. So it seems like Tucker, as the leader of the show, had a horrible culture. Shocker. Another shocker. I mean, we know what he says on the air. God knows what he does off the air. So basically, Tucker Carlson created a terrible work environment for the women that work with him, always using the term cunt. Now, I don't like to use that word. In fact, that word is too dirty for, for it to have come out my mouth. Now I'm going to have to brush my teeth again and, and use some motherfucking mouthwash. Okay? He uses the C word like I use the B word and the MF word. Okay? This nigga be cussing like there's no tomorrow when the camera's off. He might as well just say, fuck it. We are going live. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. No. We'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! Right. Fucking thing sucks! That's Bill O'Reilly. 
And you got Tucker Carlson in the back saying the C word, the executive producer of this show is a damn C word. And all these C words around here are C words. Okay. That's why the nigga got fired. Okay.